Hey guys, Norm with Bearable Traders. Today is Monday, December 3rd, 2018. Quick recap for today. Um, and also a little word about my trading for the next month. So I'm a full-time trader. Uh, and unfortunately this year I wasn't able to select uh, mark to market accounting. So I've got the wash sale rule to begin with. I'm not an accountant and I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax attorney. I'm not giving advice. This is my opinion only. Uh, so it has to deal with taking losses on trades that you make on the same stock within a 30 day period. Uh, so look it up. You can just Google wash sale rule. It's United States residents are subject to it. So because of that, I am only trading Apple for this month and will not be able to touch it until February. So I'm going to trade it in December. I've got a couple of other things that I don't usually trade and have no issue not trading. Um, but I like to trade Apple a lot. So I'm going to try to focus solely on that. I'll probably end up trading less this month because of it. We'll see what happens to the P&L. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the chat or in the comments below. Like I said, it's simply my opinion. I'm not giving any tax advice, legal advice, anything like that. Just my reasoning in case you see multiple recaps on just Apple. So obviously, uh, we had some trade news over the weekend. News, non-news, however you want to see it. Uh, when I first woke up this morning, which was uh, 4.30 a.m. Central Time, uh, the futures showed the market up by 500, the Dow up 500 plus points, 2.5% or so. Um, I wondered if it would stay up there or if it would come down. Apple was up huge. It was up 4 or 5% at that time. It came down. It was up around 185, 186, high 185s. Came down. And you can see at the open, Apple tried to go back up. Um, I was concerned about it holding its gains, at least on a temporary basis at the open. Thought about taking a swing trade. I didn't. If I did, I probably would have sold it pre-market or immediately when the market opened. Um, so anyway, it tried to come back up, and then it caught this moving average right here, this 200. The minute before the open, it couldn't get through that. And I thought that might be a good place for an entry in case it broke down. Uh, I almost, 15 seconds into the open, it popped up. I saw it couldn't hold above that moving average. I took it short right there at 184.34, and it just collapsed all the way down. I had this daily uh, level here, 183.59. It blew through that before I could even take any profits. Um, and then I took my first uh, partial off 183.21, so a dollar and ten cent move on that, uh, and then just continue to drop. I start. I saw this. Uh, this was the two day ago high, I believe. Um, yeah, two days ago high, and I started taking profits right around that level. Um, it started. It came back and touched it again. I thought it might try to bounce off that. That's why I took another partial right there. And then slowly it started to gain a little bit of strength and it wasn't just going straight down. So I didn't want any big moves. I didn't want to squeeze. I slowly partialed out of it. That was my first trade. I had four total trades today. So that was the first one and the biggest one. Like I've mentioned many times in my recaps, I have a rule that if I've made goal on my first trade, I can take more trades. I will take more trades, but I'm going to take smaller size, half size, half size, third size, whatever it may be. So I gave a couple more shots here. Um, generally, if I have a losing trade, I will quit trading for the day uh, after I've made my goal. So this one, I thought it might start to reverse here. It had these wicks on the one-minute chart. It was showing some strength. Level two at the time looked like it was showing a little bit of strength. So I try, thought about taking it. I tried to take it long here. Like I said, this was one-third size position. And I just, it hit this nine moving average on the one minute chart. I had no confidence in this. I said in the room, I called this trade out in the room as well. Um, I think I got two cents out of this. And then sure enough, it just kept collapsing. I tried one more here um, for reversal, got out at essentially break even, same deal. It's gonna give it one more shot. I was looking for a reversal in this. Finally, I saw what I wanted to see on this trade for a reversal. On the 15 minute chart, I saw this 50 moving average come here and it looked like this could be good support, whether it be for the rest of the day or just on a temporary basis, I thought this was worth a shot. So I saw it approaching that 
And that moving average was 181.33 at the time. It touched it briefly. I took it long. Uh, I took a half of a position size on this. And sure enough, it just started. I got in at 181.39 here. Wrote it up nicely. Um, my target on this was uh, this yesterday high or two day ago high that I previously mentioned as a target. And it kind of started struggling when I saw this wick, it pulled back, it failed to make a moving average cross here. Eventually this transpired later, but this showed me that it wasn't strong enough to make that turn and keep going. So I let it pull back a little bit just to make sure. And finally, when it got to the moving average on the one minute chart here, 182.50, excuse me, is when I took my first partial on it um, and moved my stop loss to break even. I didn't think I would reach that. And then once again, I took this just before VWAP. So VWAP was 182.75-ish. I placed that trade and got out of it at 182.55. Fifty-five. So I, I, it was a little, little jerky in there. I didn't get quite what I wanted, but nevertheless, well over the two to one risk to reward I look for in a trade. Um, stop loss on this would have been if it made a new low. So uh, good day of trading. Apple only. Um, I hope you guys had a good day as well. It was a nice move this morning. This week should provide some, except for the markets closed Wednesday. Uh, trade safe, be smart. Thanks for watching everyone.